The longer this drags on, the more worried I get. For good reason. Now, if the escaped prisoners are after us, what are they waiting for? And Jonathan certainly has no intention of escaping. He stole a car so that he can get in here. He's not about to leave until he gets what he came for. Us. And as for Anna and Camelia, we have to take the wardens with her. They're safe. Uh, maybe we can do more than that. <clears throat> like what? We can't leave here. And you heard the warden say that Anna and Camille, you cannot come here until they search the entire area. So the time being, we are stuck. Um, <clears throat> Duke, um, I've never told you how very sorry I am that uh, I deserted you when you were growing up. I wish I'd known you when I was a child. I was fortunate. The man I thought was my real father turned out to be very special. <laughs> Far more so than I would have ever been. You never gave a chance. Or you. I thought I had better things to do than help raise my own son. I was so wrong. Don't dwell on the past. We have the rest of our lives to spend together. We can make up for all that lost time. Any news? Nothing good. Anna and Camellia? They're just fine. Wish I could say the same for you and Angus. I have to assume now that some sort of hit is underway. Well, why don't you take me to the visitor's room? We've been through all that, Lavery. You can protect me there as well as here, and I want to be with Camellia and Anna. I want you to go with Duke. Sure, sure I'll go with both of you. I'm staying here. What? Keep your voice down. I need you to help Duke protect the women. Yeah, well, what are you going to do? I'm ensuring my children's future. At the moment, they have none. I intend to give it back to them. You're going to take on the mob all by yourself, aren't you, Angus? Let me tell you something. You go one-on-one -on -one against Jonathan. He'll kill you. I'm ready for him. He can't hurt me now. All right. I'll call the guard and take us back to the visiting room. Uh, with your permission, Warden, I'll stay here. Why? Oh, don't worry. There's a guard outside there. I'll be fine. Maybe you don't want to come and see Camilla. No, you go and spend some time with her. And then uh, I'll catch up to you later. Okay, what about you? That'll be all good with you. The guy can stay where he likes. I'm going to call the guard now. I'm not about to let you waltz down a corridor without an armed escort. Those ladies will just have to wait. danger, isn't he? I don't know. A new inmate arrives. One who deliberately commits a crime, allows himself to be caught. They can come to prison. Not long after, trouble breaks out. Coincidence? Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. I don't think so. Do you think this man is out to get Duke? I don't know. I don't know what I think anymore. I have enough information to make an educated guess. She can help me. I've already told you everything I know. No, about. not about Lordia. Please sit down. I've got to mm -hmm. try and think of things that happened with you and Duke. I, I don't know the secret of Lorleon. Why is that so important? I would have talked to you if I knew anything. Did anything ever happen? to oppose a threat to Duke. How could my past have anything to do with now? Oh, I don't know. I'm just trying to find out. But all that links me to Duke is her father, and I can't believe that Angus would do anything Angus. to... Angus Mackay. Yes, of course. But it's stupid. So obvious. Why didn't Duke want you to know? I'm just going to have to ask him, aren't I? Listen. Can you remember whether Angus was there the night you had your breakdown? Yes. Who was with that? Um, Duke. I'm the bearded man, the one who looks like the prisoner in the paper. remember what happened that night. You've got to remember. I have. I mean, Duke's life is at stake. You must remember. I would do anything for him. Do it for Duke, please. For Robin, for our future. I have. 
I can't remember this. I you knew the amount of hours I've been trying to remember anything. It's just a complete blank. Didn't you ever ask me one? Somebody must know what happened. My Aunt Janet and, and, and Duke and, and, and my father. Would they ever tell you? I don't think Aunt Janet knows anything about it. Duke does. But he's not talking. And father swore that he would take that secret with him to his grave. Remain here at your post. Makai is staying inside. Everything okay, Mike? No problem. Oh! Look oh. at the closet. Right, you keep going out here. You see anybody coming, you let me know. Right. I was wondering when you'd show up. Sorry to keep you waiting. What's a few hours? Compared to four years. That's what all this is about, isn't it? You're a wise man, Mackay. Too bad you're not as cautious. You know why I'm here. You know what I must do. Well, if you expect me to beg for mercy... I expect an answer. Not that I'll save you. I'm not interested in saving myself. Why was my cousin killed? For raping my daughter. Serious crime? She thought so. A far graver penalty. So to speak. I'm glad you think this is so amusing. Mackay, you know, of course, that my family has to be paid back for that loss of life. Aye, but one for one. You're in no position to make demands. I'm offering you what you want. No strings, no trouble. In exchange for what? Sparing my family. Spell it out for me. You can do what you like with me. I won't resist in any way. Provided. You give me a word. The Duke, Camellia, Anna Devane, and Robin won't be harmed. You drink this. Peace at last. 